Hey guys, welcome to Isaiah's Reviews, and today we'll be installing an extra SSD into the Xiaomi Mi Notebook Pro. I'll be using a crucial 525 gigabytes of SATA M.2, which I love me some crucial. I'll, you gotta spend that money on those good SSDs if you want that quality. But we'll take this first screw out of this top one here that's hidden underneath the little rubber footy, but you can pop that right off. It pops back on. You don't even know it's gone. It's uh, super simple. You just take these screws off here. And let's talk about these specs. It's an i5 processor, eight gigabytes of RAM, 256 gigabytes of internal storage on a nice little uh, PCIe SSD, which is Samsung, is what you get with it. And it can support, of course, an M.2 SATA SSD expansion. So we'll look on the inside of this thing. This is one of those notebooks that I highly recommend. You're looking at under 1100 bucks for a thing of beauty. I've been using it for months now, and I gotta swear to God, it's awesome. I just use a little suction off one of these window things here to help pull this magnesium alloy back off. It's thin, you don't want to bend it. And I'll use something to help keep it propped open while I'm uh, working on unclicking the pieces around the sides of it. But like I said, I just use this suction. It's already got the little key holder on there which acts as a good grip. And you might already have one of these in your kit and uh, I, I highly suggest anybody owning a, a computer kit. But take this off very carefully because you do not want to bend, crease that backing. It that would be a nightmare. All right, one of the things you're greeted with is this nice, luxurious, thin, fat old battery. And then there's speakers to the left and right of that battery. Those are Infinity speakers, and they sound really good for this thin notebook. And uh, one of the things that jumps out at you too is its cooling system. It's awesome. Like I'll put another video out later on it on how you can uh, overclock this and get it to act just like an i7 like 7th Gen i7. All right, enough of me oohing and on over this thing. Take the screw out. There's actually one in there in past generations of this notebook. There haven't been, but there is a screw there that holds your future SSD right up nice in its little sleepy time bed. So we'll take that out, uh, grab your crucial SSD, stick it in your hand, and shove it in the slot. It'll slide right in there. You see those teeth go right in there when it's snaps and seats itself right there and you comb it down there right up nice against the hole that's there you'll know you got it right whenever you're lined up with the hole there that that uh, you can just put that screw back into uh, another thing to note make sure to unplug that battery that I didn't do uh, so that you know accidents happen whatever I don't want to be held liable but anyway make sure to unplug your battery because I did not do that Congratulations, you have installed your very own SSD into the back of notebook slash laptop. Now this process kind of works with all of them, but I'm just using the Xiaomi Mi Notebook Pro because I'm honestly just so in love with this thing. It's so sleek, magnesium alloy just pouring over this thing. I just reversed the process on the screws, but... 8th gen i5, I never thought it would be such a beast. I never thought that I could overclock this and the fan and the thermal dissipation on this thing would just expel all this heat out the back and I could really bump it up like 40%. Equal an i7? It's just technology, man. Whew! It's amazing these days what these guys can pull off. But anyway, thin, luxurious, we got it. I got it. It's good to go. Links will be down in the description to the Crucial SSD and, of course, uh, this notebook, which if you need one, I really don't know what other one exists. It's a 1080p screen. It's not 4K, but the price is right. Uh, the pixels are nice and dense. It's, it's just a big bang for the money. Anyway, so uh, now that you got your SSD in there, uh, type along the bottom, Disk Management because we're going to see if your computer is acknowledging the existence of this SSD. And if it's not, we're going to need to format it. And we're also going to right click here. That's where you'll format. And you also change your drive letter and your path. So we're going to reallocate, allocate, uh, partition, all that good stuff will be done right here. So if you do have an issue, this is the screen you'll need to go to. And you're kind of set. That's it. And if I haven't oohed and odd and goog and guide enough over it, you can uh, completely render 4K. Simple 4K footage with a little bit of graphics destroys anything 1080p related. It's great. Make sure to explode on that subscribe button and ding that dong so that you get notified on the next two or three videos that I do just about this little baby butte. See ya.